Hey, thanks for joining me today. So this is out of our red letter challenge and we are on day eight. So this week is about worship and uh, today's uh, devotion thoughts in here have some really, really uh, great and important ideas. And one of them is that uh, worship is whatever we attribute our highest values to, um, our biggest devotion, our love. So it's easy for us to think about worship just in terms of when we come to church. But, you know, Jesus said where your money is, that's where your heart is. So if you really want to determine what is it that I worship, one place to look is your checkbook. I think the other place to look is your calendar. Where do you spend your time? What do you do? That may point you in the direction of what it is that you really worship, and that, that's worth taking some time to really evaluate. I think the other great thought that he really focuses on today is the fact that worship is something that we ought to be doing all day long, all the time. It's not just the one hour we're at church, the 15 minutes we're in devotion in the morning or something like that, but it ought to be with us all day long. And Sunday I talked about that a little bit and encouraged you to find some ways to remind yourself to be with Jesus throughout the day. I think it is really helpful to a lot of us to literally have some little tangible reminder. Um, and so you might have a little quote or a Bible verse that you post somewhere. It might be something that you uh, clip to your purse or to your key ring. It might be something that you carry around in your pocket and you just carry it with you all the time. So uh, I think for all of us that could be something a little bit different. Um, it might be a little cross. It might be something else um, that is just particularly meaningful to you. But consider finding an object like that. So when it gets to the application today, uh, he talks in particular about music. And uh, I'd mentioned to you on Sunday morning that I start my day off listening to Christian music. That's what I did this morning. And he encourages you to find some ways to listen to music throughout the day. And uh, so number one, if you don't have a Christian music station set on one of the buttons on your car radio, let me encourage you to do that. There are several great stations out there um, I, I actually, one of the stations I listen to sometimes is one of the black gospel stations, and that's the last button on the right for me. Easy to hit right there. So that's an easy first step to just help yourself out. Make sure that in, in your car, a Christian station is one of those buttons, and just hit it. And so let me encourage you to also think about this. What is the... Uh, the sphere of your life, the uh, literal physical location, the area of your life that maybe is the hardest for you to bring God into, to think about Jesus during that time. And uh, so I realize if you're in school or you're at work, you know, there are times you're doing a math problem, there are times you're working on the computer, but, uh, and, and we've got to be able to do those kinds of things. But I want to encourage you to think about whatever that is that is the hardest place in your life to kind of bring Jesus into. And what could you do there? What could you do in that setting to help remind yourself to be with God all the time? All right, so he has uh, Psalm 96 printed in here. I want to read just a few verses of that and then we'll pray together. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all people. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. All right, let's pray together. Father, thank you that you are great and worthy of praise. So in the middle of our day, sometimes when things aren't going so well, 
Help us to turn our thoughts and our heart towards you and remember that. Father, it says in front of the nations, uh, we should never be in, embarrassed to mention your name, point people towards you, talk about an answered prayer request, share a verse that helped us and might help somebody else. Father, help us to build worship so deeply into the very fiber of our being that it's a part of what we do all the time. Thank you, God, for always being with us. Help us to always be with you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks. See you later.